What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, this is Native Nomads, and today we're gonna to talk about the single pack that I have been using for the last two years that I carry all of my camera gear in and why this pack is probably the single best pack on the market. Now before we get started today, I wanna to thank the sponsor of today's video and every video you will see here on the channel and that is Adventure Rig Shop. AdventureRigShop.com is your one-stop shop for all things off-road, overlanding, vehicle related. You can purchase with the link in the description and use the code NOMAD at checkout to save yourself 5%. Also, for all of you people that have been here for a long time, this is definitely outside of the purview of the things and the videos that I generally make, but as part of my growth as a creator and my growth as an adventurer and an explorer and photographer, this was just kind of, um, it kind of made sense for me to make this video. I don't think I will be making a ton of photography videos. I do leave for the Dolomites. Or actually, when you're watching this, I'm already there. I'm a week ahead, so I'm doing things. I'm, I'm prepping for when I'm gone. But um, those videos of the Dolomites, those will be more photography climbing centric, not so much overlanding and off-road and gear reviews and things that have to do with vehicles. Um, and that's, I'm kind of just following where my life is taking me. I hope that you, if you've been here for a long time, you stick around, you continue to enjoy the content. Um, I would love to hear your comments about what you think I should be doing, or maybe some uh, constructive criticism. I can take that and it is greatly appreciated. But let's hop into the Atlas packs and why I decided decided that I would make this video today. Well, most importantly, the reason I decided to make this video is because I think it's important for anybody and just about everybody that is in the off-road, overlanding, outdoor community carries a pack with them when they're in the Alpine or they're in the backcountry or they're just going on a hike with their family on a simple trail. Everyone carries a backpack and almost all of the people that carry a backpack have a camera in their backpack. Not everybody labels themselves as photographers and not everybody wants to take the hobby or the profession seriously, and that's fine too. But if you have camera gear and you're looking to keep that camera gear safe, the Atlas Pack is the number one solution, in my opinion, for that. And the reason I feel comfortable stating that opinion is because for the past two years, I have taken my Atlas Pack with me on just about every single adventure that I go on. If it involves dirt, trees, woods, or mountains, my Atlas pack has been with me. And I think most people that watch this channel um, can agree that when they are in those remote locations, they generally have a camera with them of some kind. Well, we wanna keep that gear safe. We wanna pack it in, we wanna pack it out. We want something that is going to stand up to the conditions that we will put it in. Now, not everybody is an avid, crazy outdoor adventure enthusiast, and that's fine too. You still wanna have a pack that is far and above better than every other camera bag because the things that you have in this camera bag are highly important and highly expensive. And that brings us to the Atlas Pack Athlete. So there are two versions of the Atlas Pack. Both of them, you can probably see them, one's here and one's there. Um, the one over this shoulder is the athlete and the one over this shoulder is the adventurer. They are different in size and each one has a different purpose. I'm going to tell you what I carry and I am a, a guy who is 175 pounds and I'm about 5'10 and a half, 5'11", if I have the right shoes on, and I have both of these packs. Now, the, the pack that I carry all the time is the Atlas Pack um, Athlete. <clears throat> the reason I carry the Athlete is because of its smaller form factor. I'm not a very big guy, um, and I try to minimize the amount of gear that I carry when I travel. Um, I do have two bodies. I am a Sony shooter, for those of you who may not know that. I shoot, I shoot everything on Sony. I have a <clears throat> A7R4 and I have an A7S3. My S3 is my video centric camera. My R4 is my photography centric camera, but they can both be cross utilized if I need them. So I always have them. And I always carry usually three lenses. I carry the 24 to 70, which is my go-to for just about everything I shoot. I carry a 70 to 200. Um, and I also carry a 20 millimeter ultra wide, which is what I do my storm chasing photography on because I really want that like wide angle of everything that's going on in the sky above me. And I also need some foreground. So that lens has suited me very well for that. 
And when I step out the door, all of that gear is neatly packed within my Atlas Pack Athlete. I personally have the Adventure Hit Belt. Now the difference between the belts is just their, um, their, their height and the amount of padding that they have. The Adventure Hit Belt is much more comfortable for me because my pack is not light. Um, there's also a spot for a water bladder in the athlete just like the Adventurer pack. So if you are carrying this on long hikes or you're going deep for uh, sunrise or sunset and you need to carry food, you need to carry possibly um, water obviously, you need to carry all of your camera gear and you need to maybe carry an extra jacket, all of that will fit in the athlete depending upon how big your kit is. And that's why I always carry the athlete. I very rarely ever carry the adventurer. I do have them both, but the athlete just suits my lifestyle better. And that is a decision that I had to make. And it was really hard to make because I had no frame of reference. So this video is hopefully gonna provide you a decent frame of reference so you can make the decision on what pack you want. So now let's talk about why I really don't carry the adventurer pack. Um, for me, the athlete pack is like the perfect form factor and the perfect size. The problem I ran into with the adventurer pack is that it is so large um, and it doesn't necessarily fit my body all that well. But beyond that, when I was carrying it, what I found out is I continued to stuff gear into this pack and I would take it with me. And all I ended up doing most of the time was lugging additional gear that I didn't need or I didn't use through the mountains, which made for a much better exercise, but it didn't allow me any more versatility in what I was already doing. Um, in full disclosure, the adventurer pack was actually a hand-me-down. One of my buddies um, ended up getting a new pack and he asked if I wanted his old pack because he knew I was looking for a new pack and he sent it to me. Um, and that's kind of where I started. I bought the athlete after I had already received the um, adventure and I just re really started using the athlete all the time. It's just the perfect form factor for what I do. I carry three lenses, I carry a two liter bladder of water, I carry snacks in the top, and I always throw some type of hoodie, a beanie, depending on the temperatures, um, maybe a different pair of shoes. It just depends on where I'm going to be, but there's plenty of space for all of those things. And there's actually plenty of space for more things if you get more creative in your configuration setup. Um, but that's not what I need. I, I don't need something as big as the adventurer just because I don't want to end up carrying a bunch of gear that I don't need. And as photographers and as people who like to buy gear, we find ourselves purchasing these items, um, carrying them with us, and we really don't ever use them. So that's what I'm trying to get away from. And that's what the Atlas Pack Athlete has allowed me to do. Just simplify my setup, simplify my gear and my loadout. And I know when I pick that bag up, it has everything I need for just about every situation I could find myself in. Now, if you've made it this far into the video, what I want to say is thank you for watching, but more importantly, in the description, what you will find is a link to my Atlas Pack Pro account. I am on a part of the Atlas Pack Pro team, which gives me the opportunity to work directly with Atlas Pack and also directly with you, the possible consumer or the viewer who has questions about these packs. If you click the link in the description, it'll go directly to my Atlas Pack landing page where you can find information not only about Atlas Pack, but you can also ask me direct questions if I did not answer them appropriately or enough for you in this video. So the third thing I really wanna hit on when it comes to the Atlas Pack is the warranty and the construction. I have taken this bag through a lot, through the desert, through cactus, through the mountains, through rain, storm chasing in it. Um, and obviously I don't storm chase in the bag, I'm in a vehicle, but when you get to a location and you hop out, you throw your pack on and you run out to a place where you don't have any obstructions in your view and uh, the rain's coming hail's coming, you know, it, laying it on the ground, it gets dirty. Um, I have done a lot to this pack, but that's the athlete. The adventurer comes from one of my buddies. His name is David, David Erickson Photo. I will put his Instagram right here. You should definitely give him a follow. He is an absolutely fantastic photographer, but he used this pack for two years. And when I say he used it, he used it hard. The man is always somewhere, Switzerland, Iceland, Italy, it doesn't matter. He's always traveling and he's always shooting and he lives and dies by this pack. And if you can tell how much abuse that pack has taken and it still held up and one thing went wrong on that pack 
and he returned that pack for a brand new one and sent me this one as like a, hey, try this out. The warranty and the construction on these packs is absolutely unbeatable. The pack itself is not cheap, and I could definitely say that I agree that it is an expensive pack. But what you have to ask yourself, the amount of gear that you have in that pack what far outweighs how much the pack cost. But more importantly, one accident, one mishap, one intrusion of water, a bunch of sand, if something happens to your gear, it's far more expensive to replace and fix than it is to replace and fix a bag. So when you talk about $10,000, $15,000 worth of photography equipment, you, in my opinion, there's no, there's no way that you want to sacrifice or take any chances, cut any corners when it comes to the type of pack that you get. Atlas stands by their product. They are handmade packs, um, made in the Philippines by hand, shipped to your door. There's a very small amount of places that you can buy them. There is generally a lead time to get one, and it's because they take the time in crafting the perfect backpack for all of us who need to go deep into the backcountry in order to get that shot that nobody else has. Now for some context, the inventor of this pack and the one who is behind its ingenious design, his name is Alan Henry. Alan Henry is a sports photojournalist for USA Today Sports, or he was at one point, and he was an avid, avid adventure enthusiast. And he designed this pack with his bare hands in order to bring it to us to be able to use in real life, real world, hardcore situations. I will say that this pack is not for everybody. Not everybody needs a pack that's this robust, but depending upon the type of work that you do, depending on the type of hobbies that you're into, I take this pack with me when I'm climbing short multi pitches um, with my buddies because I really like to take pictures of people in the mountains climbing and doing the things that we like to do. So I lug this pack up with me depending upon the grade of the climb. Anything over 5'10", I'm not lugging this thing up, but if we're doing some really easy multi-pitches and I know I can get some good shots, I'm throwing this pack on my back and I'm taking it up. I've even drug it up a multi-pitch because I wasn't able to climb with the pack on, so I untied it, tied it to a fixed line, and I pulled it all the way up and it just bounced off the rock the entire time. That's what this pack is made for. It is made for that person who's really going to get out there and really going to use it. Because of its price point, it may be out of the price range for some folks, and that's totally understandable. But again, if you're talking about the amount of money that you put in these things, um, the, the physical money that goes into the, the gear that gets put into the bag, then it, it's almost silly that you don't spend the extra money that it takes because if something happens to this pack, you get a brand new one. It, that right there, the man stands behind his product and that's why I wanted to give a shout out and mention the creator of this pack because I think it's those things that we don't get anymore. We don't get the best handmade goods like back in the day like our parents and grandparents used to tell us and we know that that's true to some extent. But this pack is one of the few anomalies and I am super stoked to be a part of their pro team. So before I let you go, I wanna throw a little bit more information in there for you um, so you can kind of get a better frame of reference of what this pack is and how big it is because it's really hard to do that and convey that message through um, a YouTube video. But the adventure goes from 35 to 60 liters. Again, that's kind of hard for you probably to imagine in your mind, but the athlete pack goes from 20 to 40 liters. It's because it is slightly expandable and you can move things around. When you purchase it, you receive a whole host of different dividers that you can place in whatever configuration makes sense for your kit, um, and that is for both of the packs. Now, you do need to make a hip belt choice, and depending again on your lifestyle and the things that you do and the places you intend to take this pack, um, I would recommend you get the Adventurer belt because it's much more comfortable. It is bigger and it's kind of a pain in the butt when you're loading it on an airplane, but um, it's it, it, for that little time you have to deal with it on an airplane in the thousands of hours you're in the mountains, if that's what you do, then you will be extremely grateful that this pack has a comfortable hip belt because um, hours and hours upon hiking to get to that desired location. You don't want to show up with a with the, your sides rubbed raw um, and knowing that you have to make another two or three or four mile hike back to the vehicle. All right, so I appreciate you guys watching this today. I know this is different than what I normally do, but I think it all fits in. Um, like I said previously in the video, if you are an off-roader, you're an out 
outdoor enthusiast, you're a photographer who likes landscape photography, if you're um, a soft rotor or an overlander, whatever it is, you generally take a camera with you. Um, you generally have gear that you need to protect, and I protect mine with the Atlas Pack. I would suggest that you strongly consider the Atlas Pack prior to moving on to different considerations. There are other options out there. <laughs> I'm a, I, I have had a lot of bags. I've had a lot of bags, um, and quite honestly, I'll never not have an Atlas Pack. Even if it's not my primary carry, I'll never not have one because it has never done me wrong. I know the warranty behind it. I know the company behind it, and I just trust that my gear will be safe because I've actually put it to the test. So um, that is all for me. If you like this video, please like it. Uh, share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if this is something that you're into. Please leave a comment and let me know if this kind of stuff is, is cool for you, if something you would like me to do more often. I would love to show you my kit. I would love to do a what's in my camera bag, but I try to stay away from that because I don't want to waste people's time. I value your time. I value the time that you spend on the channel, um, and I want you to come here to get what you came here for. This may not be it, um, but I'm open to suggestions. Like I said, constructive criticism is fine. Just don't berate me in the comments because you're bored or unhappy. All right, I'll see you on the next one.